So in today's video, we got YNW Melo, we got Academics, and we got YB. So if you haven't hit that notification bell, that like button, make sure that you do if you enjoy the content. So it's been a crazy situation. It's a lot of stuff that been going, you know, not in YNW Melo favor. So it's been a situation where the government end up changing it, you know, from a unanimous vote for the death penalty. So they end up keeping it. First, they end up taking it off. Then they end up putting it back on. So now he could, you know, get the death penalty. And they also, you know, changed it to where it had to be unanimous vote for him to actually get it. It to um you know it, it doesn't have to be no more so it basically just increases his chances of actually getting a death penalty if he actually lose and a lot of people believe you know it's over with for ym melly but i don't know it's a lot of you know evidence and stuff that you know kind of don't make sense in the you know case but um his his mama and his brother end up going on live and they end up talking about the situation and at first they end up you know saying something like it was cap or whatever and this was like in the instagram post before that and i didn't know you know exactly what they was talking about i was thinking they was talking about the whole thing is cap about you know them actually changing it but they was you know actually trying to explain to people that it wasn't you know implemented for ynw melly this is just something that happened you know in the government period they wasn't thinking about ynw melly this is for everybody so it just you know having one in his favor first off basically it wasn't just the judge who decided that eight to four it was the governor DeSantis. he made that new death penalty law it went effect immediately once he passed the law. So, I mean, it is what it is. It's eight to four. Um, the state chose not to drop the death penalty. It has nothing to do with, oh, they're making it easier for him to be found or made this new law. It's for anybody. Literally. Not just for Melly. It's for anybody who is currently having a death penalty case. And also, I end up hearing that the trial was supposed to start like Monday or this week or whatever. So previously, they said that it was supposed to start, but it it started, but it was just like with jury selection. So it took it took a couple weeks to do that. So moving on to the YB and academic situation, academics feel like a lot of rappers pick and choose on who they talk to. They feel like you know whoever weak or they can actually you know talk down to. They do it, and other rappers they don't. For example, the um Lil Baby situation where Lil Baby wouldn't say nothing to YB, and then he ended up you know DMing and talking crazy to academics but um he ended up saying this is what yb was doing when he ended up not saying nothing to j prince after j prince ended up you know writing a message and he was saying stuff that academics believed that was talking down on yb saying stuff like you know little homie but the crazy thing about it i believe that you know yb he talked to you know j prince out of the pocket he was talking crazy to you know j prince when he felt like you know he was wrong in the situation so i just didn't think you know that point was valid by academics hey listen sir. Hey, hey, one thing I know about young boy, I know about all these guys who say they gangster, they gangster with everybody. They don't gangster with bloggers. Yeah. The same way he called me out instantly in 2.5 in two days, the who you was basically hinting that got to run up in your to take your keys and all that, he said he put you on the phone and he checked you and you ain't said nothing since. I only respect who keep the same energy with the tough guys. If you only keep the same energy with the think you could punk, that's why I don't respect my son. You got young boy. He, you know young boy. He dissed any nigga. So I'm not saying he's scared of Jay Prince. He did Jay Prince before. Plus and then that's when, you know, academics end up showing the comments that Jay Prince ended up making that he felt like, you know, he was talking down on YB to basically, you know, prove his point. But y'all let me know in the comment section how you feel about YNW Melly and his trial and his situation with the death penalty and um, YB and academic situation. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.